Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I might be boring, but there is another backtesting lesson and lesson on following your rules in this video. So stay tuned and check out what was it. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my morning Forex market analysis. So without further ado, I will just go straight into the content and do the analysis myself. It's Monday the 11th of March 2019 and I'll go through my six player portfolio. So here we are on USD CAD and as far as I see there is nothing much but I do see potential patterns. Uh, this is one, it is ugly one and I, I don't personally I don't like like, like the look of it but technically it's, it's the pattern so if, if the price action comes here I'll definitely be looking to get engaged. Okay. So I'm oh, sorry again. All, always wrong alerts. Okay, so that's that's the one thing that I that I can see on uh, USD CAD. I don't see anything else. Okay, let's move to the Aussie CAD. Aussie CAD we kind of have a similar situation. Not not good looking patterns, but we might have actually a few of them here. We might have this one. This one right here. So Gartley, I'm not supposed to trade on this pair, as you can see, as uh, my reminder. And we can have another Gartley, which I'm not supposed to trade on this pattern, on this pair for me. So this would be those two, but I will not be engaging it in them because I'm not supposed to trade them. Besides this, on this pair at least, I don't see anything else that I can get engaged. Well, let me let me clear this out. Uh, yeah, I don't see guys. I don't see anything else here right now. So I'm just gonna move forward. Okay, Aussie USD. Here I'm not supposed to trade bats, but I can trade guard least. So let's see. Do we have a potential? This might be something. Also bad looking, but. Well, I'm not supposed to trade bad, but we will see what's gonna happen today if this kind of this kind of stuff happens. Okay, so in the meanwhile, I can yeah bad not, but this no the, yeah I'm not gonna set the alarms because bad will probably not turn into Garthly. If it will, I will have my eye on it throughout the day. So yeah, we will definitely see. Euro dollar, one of the pairs where I can trade the ciphers as well. So ciphers, bad and Garthlys. <laughs> And I don't see besides this very, very, very small one. This might be maybe cipher. Yeah, so this might be a cipher pattern, and I will definitely be engaging in, in it if if it happens. Uh, what is the risk to reward? I can lose seven pips, and I can win seven pips plus. Okay, I'll probably be engaging in it. Let's see if it touches the B leg. I'm gonna set myself the alarm. Oh no, another alarm. B leg. Uh, yeah. Let it notify me that something is happening. Okay, then we have pound dollar. Uh, here I can trade bats and Gartleys. Where, where is my reminder? Here, no bats, just bats. I'm not supposed to trade Gartleys. That's why, guys, I don't I don't like to remember this kind of stuff because you can easily make mistakes. I always do have my reminders with me and I just slide them, okay? So I will also add reminders to Euro Dollar and to the Pound Yen where I can trade ciphers. Besides, yeah, I don't see, I don't see, yeah, no, nothing, nothing here for me. Yep, Pound Yen, also a pair. Yeah, so last time I did the analysis here because Friday and uh, Thursday last week was very slow. So I didn't do the analysis since uh, Wednesday because we didn't get any action. I said it, it the pound yen might make a pullback into this zone and then just go down. down. And this is exactly what happened. It didn't go straight into the zone. It just touched the zone, got a lower, low, lower close and then just continue going down to a price point where I said here which is exactly what happened. Yeah. So what I what am I expecting now? Let's see. 
yeah now i don't know if it, it it still didn't breach this level here that i'm uh, that i have on a screen uh so i'm it might get we might get some kind of a double bottom and then go up or might not we'll definitely see and yeah if we if we get a lower low lower close below this level however then the next level probably will be around this price point but we will see i don't want i currently i don't have enough information uh to give uh some kind of a rough prediction and but i as far as me goes i'm not allowed to trade anything here which you know bads garthlis and cyphers and i don't see nothing that would be of my interest so with that being said thank you very much for watching this morning session this short five minutes or so and yeah see you in a few seconds in the afternoon session bye bye okay that was fast so hi guys and welcome back to the afternoon session it was pretty boring day however we did end up having a small trading lesson on rules again okay so as you can see on usd cad nothing much has happened my alarm didn't even get hit beside that I, I i don't know i haven't seen anything else so i'll be waiting for tomorrow to see what's gonna happen i'm just gonna delete this because i don't see anything currently besides this so i might as well you know let's leave it here and uh no, it's actually not this one it should be this one yeah so it should look like this garfley now looks like this because we made a new low which is not still lower than the eight point so besides this nothing else on the usd cad to on aussie cad i don't see anything here yeah still waiting for some kind of a for something to show up when it does well maybe we might have something like this we might have this tomorrow but I'm not allowed to trade Gartley's on this pair, so I won't be engaging into this one. And uh, the other one was Gartley as well. So yeah, just watching the market, doing what it's supposed to do. Aussie USD, we might have a bad pattern, but I'm not allowed to trade it. This would be a bad. We will see tomorrow. Besides this, nothing else for me. Euro dollar lesson for in today's video so what happened today we got entered into this trade because we are front running for two pips and our entry point was two pips below this target okay so it is around this price point yeah i think it's yeah so around this price point we we got in okay obviously we, we got triggered into this bad here so what happened then if you can see we had to trail our targets okay so I'm gonna remove the this um, e bot that I'm the C bot that I'm using it's gonna zoom in a little bit okay <clears throat> change the color here put it in red so that we can easily see what happens per my rules I had an Instagram story about this as well today I had to trail my stop loss to break even because the price action on this retracement on a lower time frame that's why we have this wick here and this pull pull down push down actually came within one pip to my targets so i had to trail my stop loss to break even and then i got stopped out but i was not in front of my screens because i was in a meeting or uh, of some sort uh, in my office and I wasn't able to do so. So when I got back from the office, I've seen that my pr the price price action almost hit my targets, came one pip to it, and I didn't close it. I didn't close it, so I had to manually close the position, which I ended up doing in uh, on a story on Instagram. And if you can check out this here, history, I did close the euro dollar sell positions today for a minus what. 0.2 pips and 0.3 half of a pip I lost but I stick to my trading plan because I had to do it otherwise I would get stopped I would got stopped out for a bigger loss of I don't know maybe 10 pips per position so it would be a loss of 20 pips per 20 pips in total which is something else because right now I lost half of a pip so in essence I kind of make money and I feel good for myself because uh, you know I stuck to my rules and they they again proved to be correct. Uh, besides this on pound dollar, nothing here for me for the entire day. And then we have pound yen. 
again I did print I did say that we might get a double bottom we didn't get one we just you know rallied back up into this I I say I think it might be yeah good shorting opportunity here but I wouldn't get sure because we, we didn't uh, uh, reach out I, I don't know I don't know I'm not trading this it's still a lot of things that I don't know about this kind of trade so I won't say anything in terms of what I see I see nothing here for me so I won't be engaging and with that being said guys yeah that's it uh, this is a daily forex market analysis that I do each and every day when there is some kind of an action or some kind of a lesson that I can learn teach you then I do a video and if it's not there is no action I will not upload a video to YouTube uh, if you're new here consider subscribing I do uh, record a bunch of other type of videos about financial education, stock investing, and forex trading in general. I also talk about passive income, interview a lot of traders on this channel as well. Uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and I'll speak to you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.